I'm going to show you guys real quick um, how to use the audio visualization plugin in Unreal, uh, Unreal 4, to create um, an audio visualization, right? Something that will pull the spectrum frequency and amplitude out of the currently playing track and uh, allow you to um, shape the world around you based on that input. Um, so, uh, here's how we're going to do it, right? Um, if you come up here to Window, go to Plugins, um, what you're going to be looking for is the Audio Visualization Plugin. You'll find it here uh, under Audio and Visualizations. It ships with Unreal 4. Um, so, you know, have at it. All you got to do is tick this box, uh, get it enabled, and you'll be good to go. Um, once you enable that, you'll notice in your blueprints um, that you will gain access to uh, these two nodes right here. Uh, one of them is the Calculate Frequency Spectrum node, uh, and the other is the Get Amplitude node. Both of these nodes pull, um, obviously, information from the currently playing audio track. Um, so, if you see what I have here is I start you all the way back here, event begin play. Okay, it starts the level, starts my sky sphere. I'm not going to take you through all that and show you how I set up, um, you know, the Oculus Rift support. I'm, you know, for HMD orientation. Um, I'm not going to show you how I built the texture. What I am going to show you is how I built the bars and how this plugin works. All right, so first things first, you need to add an audio component. You need to play your target song. Um, which in this case is the audio component. You'll put it in right here, whatever audio track. Um, and then here's the fancy thing that I do. I, I collect all the actors of, of the class first. In this case, I'm collecting all these cylinder objects. Um, these cylinder objects, as you can see, are all of these uh, little uh, purple objects right here. These are all just basic cylinders. Um, that I've set up and tied around in this hexagon shape thing. Um, octagon. I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, either way, so all of these uh, cylinders are tagged, right? So you can see down here they have a tag, one element, EQ2, which means they're going to be for the second value of the equalizer bar. Um, and you can see each one has a different tag, EQ7. I go all the way 1 through 10 on these guys. Um, so basically what this is saying right here is this blueprint collects all the actors of the class and puts them into this array, the equalizer object array. Okay, And then I wrote this function over here that sorts the equalizer. It's kind of crazy, but all it does is simply um, collects the, it takes the entire array and sorts through it using this for each loop, right? Um, and if it finds any of the tags Okay, it filters them into individual arrays. So now I have arrays for EQ0, all the objects named EQ0, all the objects named EQ1. Uh, it looks a little messy, but it works um, right. So I'm sure there's a cleaner way to do that, but I don't know it. Um, now that you've gotten all your objects filtered out and you're ready to go, now comes the fun part, right? So, calculating the frequency spectrum, uh, it's literally going to pull the sound wave from uh, whatever audio track you pull it from. Um, the channel I set to zero. Spectrum width uh, I set to ten because I have ten different arrays um, that I want you or that I want to pass values to. Um, and then the time length I just made really slow. Now you can change these values based on how many objects you have. So like if you have a lot of objects that you may want to adjust or change, um, maybe lowering or raising your spectrum width might help. Uh, increasing or decreasing your time length will change how many samples it takes during that time period. Um, I found increasing that was actually a little higher um, and made it kind of slow, laggy, uh, probably not so great, so I kept it really short, pinging real fast. Um, either way, so what this does is it collects all this stuff and then returns you an array. Um, 
which uh, you can kind of see right here the values of the array uh, as they go. Um, so, okay, and now uh, you get the game time in seconds. Um, and this will be when it starts, right? Game time in seconds. So it filters all this stuff into an array. Come back to this delay block here in a second. Okay, and then you get the amplitude, and I pretty much set it to the exact same stuff. Filters those same values to an amplitude array. Um, and then all the magic is right here. Uh, or all the rest of the magic right here. This is actually applying it to the objects. Um, so I have a function over here for setting the indexes. Uh, as you can see, all this does is the same kind of thing. Is It just filters um, all the values into the frequency spectrum takes the first one and applies it to uh, this array you know it sets or sets this value of frequency zero um, and then just does that it sets them all to their individual variables and it does the same thing for the amplitude array um, okay and once they're in individual var variables I can finally calculate the equalizer um, and this is where uh, you'll find me actually moving the objects. So I find I take all the objects in the EQ0 array and for every single one of them I get its transform and I break it apart. Uh, you'll notice I'm actually not using the amplitude uh, for this particular build um, but uh, you can get some different results if you take the amplitude and multiply it by the frequency and adjust you know whatever vector you want or if you wanted to change it for a rotation or um, you know anything you wanted to do now that you have the, the variables. Um, either way in this case I broke apart its transform and scale it on its z-axis based on whatever the frequency is. Um, and then I rebuild the transform and set it to the actor. Uh, and of course all the actors are in this array for each one. Um, so it just runs this uh, runs this loop right here every frame. Um, Finally, you'll see I loop it back here with a really short delay, and then just bam, I recalculate the frequency spectrum. So every 0 0.01 seconds, it's recalculating that, um, and then reapplying the scale. Um, so I hope that helped a little bit. I know that was quick and dirty, um, done entirely in blueprints. So the end result. Uh, I can show you here um, right so this is the end result and you can see the uh, you can see the bars as they scale based on the currently playing audio track um, so kind of fancy um, as the track goes on uh, and the values start changing you'll start seeing the bars get taller and start seeing their materials change and um, crashing so lagging out lagging out all right uh, thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions uh, visit my website at sovereigns.com um, or catch me here on YouTube you can subscribe and find me on Twitter at sovereigns um, thanks guys